What's up guys, Blingmaster here and welcome to this new video. Today I just wanted to do something a little different because usually I'm just gaming and recording it but this time I wanted to do a tier list video. So first of all this is the Mega OS tier list from Tier List Maker. I wouldn't really call it Mega because it doesn't have a lot. I even added some personally because they just weren't here. First of all, Windows 10, uh, everyone knows it, everyone uses it, but it is not the very greatest in my opinion. I would say it's pretty average, so I'm literally going to put it exactly in the middle because it's a fine OS, it works, it's easy, but you know, Microsoft's bullshit, it is in there and I personally am not a fan of that. Just keep in mind, this tier list is just my own opinion. So if you wanna disagree, just go to the comments, but don't be mad when I put your favorite at the very bottom. So let's just continue with Windows 11. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's a D. Or maybe even, I don't know, either one of these, maybe E. Because Windows 11 was fine in the beginning, in my opinion. It was literally the same as Windows 10, but it just looked different and some features were absent, but that's literally everything. But now they're just adding more and more spyware and bloatware to it, so I cannot say I'm a big fan of that. So into E, it goes. Then we got Windows, whatever this is. Uh, it's e either 95, 98, 3. I have no clue, but I'm gonna just say I think it's not a good OS. Because, of course, for the time, it had to be good. I know for sure it was a good OS for the time, but nowadays I know you cannot really use this at, as much. I know it misses a lot of things. So let's just continue with Windows 7. This is actually my favorite Windows version ever. I grew up with this one and it was just better than 10. Yeah, I said it. I don't think it's controversial to say something like that, but I don't think 10 was actually an upgrade from 7. So I'm just wondering, should I put, I think I'm gonna put it in B because I think it is better than 10, but not as good as some of the other OS's that we can find down here. Then this is Windows 8. I know the little 8 thing was cut off, but I just uploaded the file myself. So I, I know it's Windows 8, so just trust me. Um, yeah, I have never tried this one, but I'm not even gonna put it in. I think it's bad because I know it's bad. Bro, why did they have to change the entire look of Windows? Nobody asked for that. Nobody wanted that, but they just did it anyways and they failed miserably. So they just went back to the traditional taskbar OS, which is thumbs up for me. Good job, Microsoft, for coming to your senses. Hopefully you'll do that again in the future. Uh, Windows 1. Same thing for the other old windows. It had to be okay or even good for the time. But for nowadays, nah, you cannot use this. I'm sorry if you wanted to, you, you can't. It's bad, okay? It's bad. Now we're just gonna go over to some, uh, to the other OS's. We had windows, so let's just start with other big OS's that are like very mainstream. Everyone knows them, like Android. Android is a straight S for me. I don't care what you say. I have an Android phone. It works perfectly fine. It does what it has to do. It sends chats in, in WhatsApp. It can watch YouTube videos. I can go on Reddit. I can do literally everything I need. So it's just an S. And even beyond the phone, it's also on a smartwatch. It's also on my TV. So I cannot complain. On the other hand, we have iOS. I have never used it, but I think it will be good. I think it's a good OS. I'm not the biggest Apple fan because they're just overpricing everything they make for no reason. But from OS perspective, yeah, I do think it's a good one. I, on the, on the other hand, I also think it's bad because Apple itself 
just closes up everything and you can't do shit. But I think it's good because the European Union is actually like forcing them to change things like the charger <laughs> and making APKs available finally, either the even though Android had it for years, but alright Apple, you can call it a feature instead of saying you had you were forced. On the other hand we have uh, Mac OS, which is also from Apple. I think they're bad. I don't even know the difference between these two. So, oh my god, my cursor grew big. Uh, but I I don't know the difference between these two. They're just Mac OS to me. But I don't like Mac OS. I'm just too used to Windows and Linux to actually use Mac. I I know people will say, oh, you're, you're dumb, you're stupid. Mac OS is the greatest OS ever. But I... I personally don't feel that way. So now we can, oh no, I, I was about to say we can go over to Linux now, but no, we still have Chrome OS F also. I have never used it, but same goes for Windows 8. I know it's bad. I know you cannot do shit on those Chromebooks. <laughs> A lot of people at schools have these because they're okay for education because you can like go on Word and go on Chrome. But imagine if you wanted to game on these, then you'd have to install, like, Linux on it. So let's go over to Linux now. I Let's just start with a lot of people's favorite, Debian. I've used it for a very short time. So I cannot really say anything about it, but I do think it's a good OS, especially if you're making a server. As I said, I've never used it, so, well, I've used it for a very short amount of time, so I cannot say much about it, but I do feel like it's an okay OS, or even good. Based on Debian, we got Ubuntu, which I have used for not that long as well, and I'm just gonna put it in either C or D, because it's... It's a f no, I'm gonna put it in D. It's not as good as Windows 10 in my opinion. Because Windows 10 just has a nicer feel to it, if you know what I mean. Ubuntu uses GNOME by default and I really don't like how it looks. I've never been a big fan of it. So the fact that it has... Uh, that it collects your data, that's not a very Linux thing to do. Because like Debian doesn't do it, this one doesn't do it. And they do, so that's kind of strange of them, but you know, it's an OS made by a big corporation, so that's what they do. Based on Ubuntu, we got Kubuntu, which I think is the same as Windows 10. It's literally Ubuntu, but it looks nicer. Wow. Great. Also based on Ubuntu, Linux Mint, either A or S. I think it's gonna go in A for me, but Linux Mint is great. It's very easy to understand and to use. You can game on it, I believe. I'm pretty sure you can game on it. Um, yeah, I've gamed on it, so it can be done. Yeah, it, it can pretty much look however you want. There are like two or three default desktops that you can use, and I think they all look pretty okay. It's also lightweight, so plus. And also based on Ubuntu, we got Pop OS. I've never used it, but I don't think it's good. I've seen some images from internet and it's also using GNOME. <laughs> and you already know how I, how I think about that. So it's literally Ubuntu, but I don't know shit about it. So I, I, I'm just gonna assume it's not okay. I, I'm not gonna ever try this one either. I just don't care about it. I just wanna say that I've no clue what this fish is and this leaf thing. So I'm just gonna not touch on those. Uh, next up we got another big one. We got Fedora. I've also never really used it, but I think it's good. I know it has some security things. I know it's based on Red Hat, so it has to be like good for corporations or companies but I have to say the DNF updater is very very slow the, uh, I, I meant the DNF package manager I'm sorry okay 
The package manager is very slow, it sucks. I cannot really like that. And you can say, how do you know? You've never used Fedora. I have used, and I'm still using, Bezite. Bezite is just an OS based on Fedora, but it's meant for gaming. And I'm gonna put it like in B, because it's fine. I like it. It's it got a lot of gaming things it, on by default. You know what? Here, A. I said it. Besides, it's an A. Okay. It's literally Steam Deck like, except it comes with default emulators and everything. So very easy setup. I cannot complain. Free BSD. I am just gonna put it back here. I got no clue, no clue if it's good or bad. So. Now for the last one, and my favorite. I use Arcs by the way, so Arcs will be going in S tier for me. Because you can, you have f full control over your OS. You can use the AUR, which is a repository made by like random people. And they package certain programs so you don't have to build them from source every time. It's very easy, in my opinion. But I have to say, don't use Arch if you're not interested in computing. It's not gonna be a good experience for you. It, there's a lot of troubleshooting. You have to do a lot of shit manually from the beginning. The, install, the installer just sucks. If you care about installing it graphically, then it sucks. I, don't, I didn't care, so it's fine for me. But yeah, just install this one if you are actually interested. That's my biggest advice. Then we got Manjaro, which, which is based on Arch Linux, except the developers are stupid because it's just as good as Arch, except it's easier to install, but the developers don't really have good fixes for strange issues. One time it, a certificate expired and they just told everyone to set back the time on their computer. <laughs> so that's not a good fix. Imagine if Microsoft did that. Yep, Windows has this issue, so you just have to revert the time to a different time. No, that's a stupid way to fix something. I, I think I'm gonna put it in F. Not because it actually sucks that much, but because I would never use this. Because of what I just said. If I cannot trust the developers, why would I try the, to install the OS. Then we got our last one for today and it's Endeavor OS. Which I also think is an S. It's the same as R, except very easy to install. It's the same to install as like Windows. You can just press next a couple times, change some of the options like you how you wanted them and that's like you're done. It's easy. But I do think I'm gonna have to put Windows 11 a little bit higher because I don't feel good seeing Windows 11 that close to these three. Because these three are... I at least have a very bad feeling about either of these. My advice for this video, if you wanna use an OS, don't try Windows 8. It's old, it sucks. Don't try Windows... Uh, don't try Chrome OS because it's Google and shit and weak. Don't try Manjaro because the devs are dumb. <laughs> and yeah, go for Linux Mint if you like to use an alter alternative to Windows and you don't care about learning computer shit. Um, although Arch is very good to game on, I have to say that. The, the most of the games work. I have had only one issue in crossplay for Overcooked 2, but literally every other game I want to play it works, just like on Windows. So, but if you don't care and you just want to have an OS that you that that works, Linux Mint is okay. Windows 10 is fine, but unfortunately Microsoft will be killing it off in October, I believe. So maybe you should upgrade to Windows 11. And if you can't, maybe give Linux a try. Maybe it, it isn't as bad as you think. 
because of all those. I did Linux for three for 30 days challenge. It sucks. It was horrible. Yeah, Linux for 30 days. I hated Ubuntu when I used it for the first time. I didn't like a single thing about it, but now I'm on Arch. So, you know, things change. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe. I hope you can use this advice in some way. I hope it's helpful. Also, just don't use Windows 7. I know I said it's a good one, but that's just because it used to be good. And I know I'm hypocritical for putting these low, but you.